Hi, this is Paramdeep from Pristine and in this tutorial I'll speak about creating a layout for an integrated model. Now uh, one of the main uh, uh, concepts or the one of the main uh, features of a model uh, could be a very nice uh, template for a model or a very nice layout for a model. Right, so in this session what we'll see is that how to create a layout and uh, and what kind of an advantage could a good layout have uh, over let's say an ordinary model so for example uh, in this particular layout if you see I am using column A to navigate uh, from one table of content to the other so sort of this is the main heading that I have so I have the balance sheet assumptions I have the revenue assumptions I have the cost assumptions and and I'm using the column A to sort of uh, uh, navigate from one assumption to the other so sort of one blob about the uh, balance sheet assumptions right I, I keep uh, within column A so this is like defining a table of content right so uh, so the first thing that we are using is I'm using column A as my main table of content is that okay Similarly, I'm going to use my column B. So I'm going to use my column B as, let's say, the second level of table of content. So for example, if I see my model, then sort of uh, the key ratios are, are the second level of uh, my um, of my assumptions. So sales, uh, prices, volumes, volume requirement, raw material price, etc. is the second level of uh, uh, my table of content. Now the main uh, advantage that I have of doing is that uh, I can always use this uh, shortcut, right? If you remember the Excel shortcuts, I can always use the shortcut control plus either the up arrow or the down arrow to navigate from one main table of content to the other. So this sort of uh, uh, improves the efficiency of navigating through the model, right? Uh, the other thing uh, uh, that we would be using uh, uh, within uh, within a model is that we would sort of uh, use uh, uh, the upper part of the model to denote the years, right? So for example, I'm using column E for FI05, column F for FI06, column N for FI014, right? I'm using column D for my units, and and I'm calling uh, and I'm using column C to put the other uh, uh, to put the other sort of uh, main headings that I have. Right. So what I'll do next is that sort of uh, to make sure that all the uh, sheets in my model have column E as the year 05. I will column I will copy this sheet to the next. Uh, Thing and then change its name so let's try to create uh, uh, let's try to use Excel to sort of uh, create a small uh, layout from a model and then we'll see how it is to be done so let's start a new Excel sheet so why don't you also start a new Excel sheet uh, along with me and then we'll try to do that so first of all select column A and B and make them a little thin so I'm going to use them for two purposes. One, I'm going to use uh, use this shortcut to sort of navigate fast. Two, I'm going to use this for intendation, right? So that uh, uh, sort of my model looks uh, very neat. Yeah. So please do that. Please increase the width of column C, right? This is where our main uh, uh, our main English is going to come. We are going to use column D for units. Let's use the column E for my year one. Let's use column F for year two since there's going to be less. So select these two and let's create it for five years. All of you, uh, please try to do it along with me. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're done, then uh, then let's uh, hide the grid line so that the model looks a little clean. Go to view and remove the grid line so that the model uh, sort of the background the model has is a 
white color background right so what i'm going to use a uh, column a is is for the main table of content right so let's call it heading 1 this is what i'm going to use uh, my column a for i'm going to use my column b for let's say the heading level 2 let's call it 2a heading 2b i'm using generic terms right now but finally when we create a profit and loss account or the balance sheet we'll put in the corresponding heading similarly i'll have a heading to c then i could have my main content within the heading let's call it one so all we would need to do is so let me copy it and change this to two three and four let's not use this so all i'm going to use is that similar concept i'm going to use for the second heading as well so let's call copy this blob so my heading sort of one b right then i have my heading two one two b a i could have my heading two b b right i could having to b c and so on right so now uh, let's bold this right and let's call this my layout of a model is that okay let's this use this for units let's say if this were usd right let's call this number so i can just say a number let's call this a percentage and so on right so these could be uh, various sort of uh, uh, various digits that could be there. So let's remove sheet two and three. So select both of them, right together. So what you can do is uh, select the first one, use shift and click on the second one. This sort of uh, groups the two sheets and then just delete the sheets, right? So let's call this uh, page one of my layout. If I want to create page two just press control and then drag this so it will create a page 2 which looks exactly same as page 1 right let's call this page 2 right now when page 2 uh, sort of has this matrix integrity it says that column e will always have year 1 so uh, let's say if if this uh, if this were uh, let's say year 1 my heading 1 was let's say my revenue right my heading 2 was revenue from let's say product one right this could be let's say revenue from product two right this could be let's say uh, my revenue from product three is that okay so i could have all these numbers uh, written as let's say usd 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 right so let's say if, if in year one i had a revenue of 100 uh, from product one let's say 200 from product two let's say 300 from here now to navigate uh, so let's call this uh, my profit and loss account right now if i'm going to use the page uh, one as let's say the balance sheet is that okay then uh, my this could be let's say the liabilities is that okay so my heading uh, 2c could be uh, let's say my heading 1b could be the uh, assets is that okay i can have let's say uh, heading 2c called the current liabilities right so my current liabilities could be let's say the accounts payables right or let's say advances from customers right so if i'm using uh, column e let's say if this were twenty dollars so i need let's say the usd in usd here and let's say this for ten dollars so i would always know that uh, sort of uh, my column e is going to refer to year one my column E is going to refer to year 
1. Now this year 1 could be whatever year you are concerned about. So it could be let's say FI10 or so on. So sort of two advantages that I, I have from this uh, particular thing is that one obviously sort of it makes my navigation easier. So for example if I if I want to go from let's say the liabilities to asset I can use this shortcut control page uh, control and uh, sort of the down arrow to to navigate fast so obviously it improves my navigation two it looks much more uh, uh, nicer right so it, it looks intended so I can clearly see that these are my liabilities these are my current liabilities and this is sort of a sub table of content right so it has these two advantages the other thing that we did while creating the uh, template that's the third part is that we copied the main layout Right. So the advantage that I get from this is that sort of my uh, integrity of the model is maintained. Right. So for example, uh, as in I would always know that uh, my FY, let's say, O8 is going to be column E. So whenever let's say I'm calculating the ratios and, and I'm calculating let's say my uh, inventory turnover ratio or my number of days of inventory. So whenever I calculate the number of days of inventory okay I would always remember that I have to divide column E by column E is that okay. So this sort of uh, makes sure that uh, the chances of uh, me committing an error in the model are minimized, right? So uh, what we have just now seen is that uh, uh, we have used uh, sort of uh, uh, very simple tricks to create models, uh, to create let's say template for a model. Uh, what we'll see in the next tutorial is uh, uh, we'll see how to create the historical uh, uh, balance sheet and P&L based on a very simple model, uh, based on a very simple template or based on a very simple layout. The other thing that we would take care of is that if there are any historical numbers, right, if, if so for example these are all historical numbers, then we always use a blue colored font for historical numbers. So this is just for consistency purpose. So I will always use a blue colored font for a historical number. So the other thing that uh, we would take care of in our layout is that we would use a blue colored font for historical numbers right and we would use a black colored font we would use a black colored font for uh, projections and calculations so any calculations that we are doing we would use a, a black colored font so this will sort of uh, ensure that within our model so if you see a main model right Within a model, we always know what is hard coded uh, and, and what's calculated. Is that okay? What is calculated and linked? So, if you see the basic structure of the model, uh, the main model that we are going to create, and the short template that we have created remains exactly the same, right? So, that's two parts. The other part is that uh, we can sort of uh, 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 we can freeze the panes to make sure that uh, the ears and the uh, and the main table of content is always visible. So to log uh, to sort of uh, freeze the panes, go to the view, view part, right? Click on freeze panes and click on freeze panes. So sort of this uh, this locks my my uh, first row and the uh, column A, B, C, D in the model, right? So if I go to the right, I can still see this. If I go down, I can still see this, right? So sort of uh, uh, this makes uh, your uh, overall navigab navigability of the model much better. So I do hope that uh, you have uh, found this tutorial to be interesting. Uh, what I suggest is that uh, you try this uh, on your own, right? You try creating this uh, template on your own. So uh, the main things I'll just uh, summarize uh, for you. So uh, let me put in something.
so the main things that i'll uh, just summarize for you the uh, uh, the steps so the first step is to uh, sort of uh, decrease the width of column a and b so you select both of them together and then decrease the width so column a and column b would always be of the same width right then use the first row as ears marker right then uh, the third part is use a b and c as your levels in table of content right so whatever are your levels of uh, table of content sort of use them right the fourth part that we saw was essentially hide the grid lines right the fifth part that we saw was essentially um, uh, sort of uh, uh, freezing the panes right and uh, the sixth part was using uh, different font colors for historical numbers and calculations right so uh, this pretty much uh, summarizes uh, the uh, the part as far as a layout uh, uh, as far as a layout creation is concerned I do hope that uh, you found this session to be useful and I suggest that you start creating the layout on your own and we'll start creating the historical uh, profit and loss account and the historical balance sheet uh, in the next tutorial right if you have any questions uh, feel free to write an email to me on paramdeep at eduprestine.com alternatively you could also uh, uh, call me for your queries on plus nine one nine eight nine two nine eight zero six zero eight right I look forward to seeing you in the uh, financial modeling school. Thank you.